Lucas Media. So I happened to come across this video, and I kind of been hearing about it online the last couple of days, but apparently NFL player son went missing. I'm going to play the video, break it down, give my thoughts about it, and then let me know if I'm tripping or what y'all think. Good afternoon, everyone. We begin 13 News at noon with breaking news. Boy and the son of former Colts player Daniel Muir has been found safe this morning by Indiana State Police in Logansport. Bryson's parents, Kristen and Daniel Muir, now both arrested. Kristen faces a preliminary charge of obstruction of justice. Daniel faces preliminary charges of obstruction of justice and domestic battery. Right. Now, I did hear that initially the grandmother reported all of this, but let me keep playing it. Now, our Rich Nye is in Logansport outside of Cass County Jail following the latest developments. And, and Rich, what have you learned so far? Karen, Daniel and Kristen Murr are currently in the Cass County Jail awaiting a hearing that happens at one o'clock here in the Cass County government building behind me. And at that hearing, they'll find out if perhaps they will get a bond so that they could post bond and be released today before the July 4th holiday. Now, early this morning, the Indiana State Police SWAT team, they executed a search warrant on this property about 6 a.m. This is in Logansport. This is where the Muir family lives. The property is owned by Servant Leaders Foundation. The religious group that lives and meets here is called Straightway Indiana Goshen. So far, this is already sounding disturbing to me, but your son is, is, is missing. It, it's, it ain't got that bad to where a SWAT team had to get involved. Daniel Muir is the pastor and the leader of that group. Bryson's grandmother reported alleged abuse of the 14-year-old boy back on June 16th while he was visiting her home in the Cleveland, Ohio area. She provided a photo to police of Bryson with a black eye and a swollen face. And she Now, come on, man. This is somebody's 16-year-old son. He said Bryson told her that his dad caused the injuries as a punishment he deserved. Now... I'm all for disciplining kids, right? I got teenagers. So, well, almost two adults now and one more that's about to be an adult. And I think there's a difference between, you know, checking your kids, possibly even disciplining your kids. But you didn't you didn't black this eye so bad to where the boy's grandmother is trying to get the authority, the authorities involved. That's how you know this had to be bad. She believed the abuse happened on the Logansport property, and police have been trying to locate the boy for 18 days. It appears Bryson was likely here on this property the whole time, but the parents were not cooperating with the investigation. So let me get this straight. He was on the property the whole time, and the parents aren't cooperating. Now, one thing I know about Indiana, Indiana is a very strict state, honestly. And you got the police involved. You know the police are actively looking for your son. You know where he's at, but you're not going to tell him. You don't think they're going to find out? Especially if this is a, a missing teen. You don't think they're really going to try to look? And allegedly backed out of a meeting with the state police last Friday to bring Bryson to investigators to talk about the, uh, the uh, investigation. That led police to getting that search warrant this morning and going... And then you say you're going to meet, then you back out. You Like like the man just said, you don't think they're going to get a search warrant? They're going to check everything, phones, computers, whatever they can think of. Under the property, and again, Bryson was found. He is safe and well, and police say that the parents were taken into custody without incident. Just nothing but positive vibes. Uh, here we are, you know, trying to find this child, make sure that he's alive and well, and ultimately after three weeks of you know, reaching out. Uh, yeah, he was found located. Uh, so uh, definitely win in our books. Daniel Muir was arrested for domestic battery and obstruction of justice. His wife, Kristen, was arrested for obstruction of justice. Daniel played for the Indianapolis Colts for four seasons, ending in 2011. And again, Daniel and Kristen Muir have a bond hearing. That's today at one o'clock here at the Cass County Government Building. I'll be at that hearing to have the very latest for you on WTHR tonight. And Bryson Muir is currently in the custody of the Indiana Department of Child Services. So, 
a couple of things. I did see where they were denied bond. I guess the judge because they failed to cooperate with the police or the authority, should I say? But I'm not surprised again. Second part because this is Indiana, and I know the defense attorney said that they're being targeted. They're innocent, but when you don't cooperate with the police for your child and you know they're looking for your child, what do you think is going to happen? And like I said, I've also seen the photos leak. I'm not going to show them one here, but. What do you expect they gonna do if you didn't bla if you didn't mess up your son's face like that? So I don't know what's going on. Like I said, and then also when it comes to these these um, religious sites or these religious groups, it can get kind of dicey. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Hey, they deny bond. <laughs> they probably gonna sit in jail for a minute. Tell me if I'm tripping. The who side of y'all own? Do y'all feel like the parents were in the wrong or the authorities? Let me know what y'all think.